Live Free Armory is introducing the cutting edge Apollo 11 9mm pistol. Crafted with precision and attention to detail, this pistol is the embodiment of form and function. The Apollo 11 boasts a sleek, elegant profile with a heat-treated 416 stainless steel slide. Its frame is available in black, gray, and flat dark earth colors. This pistol offers double stack mags with an impressive capacity of 17 plus 1 rounds of 9mm. The Apollo 11 features a match grade 4.9 inch bushingless bull barrel, and its finely tuned 3.5 pound trigger system provides a crisp, consistent break for precision shot placement. This pistol delivers minimal recoil, allowing for rapid follow-up shots and improved accuracy. Check them out at LiveFreeArmory.com. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. In this case is a handgun that I have long cherished. I have loved it. I've owned it for over 12 years. And never once during that time did I consider even selling it. Never crossed my mind. But what happened was I was going through my safes and I realized I haven't touched this in well over three years. And then would it be better in somebody else's hands who could love it and honor it and shoot it and, and just enjoy it more than I have the last three years? I'm not a big wheel and dealer. When I sell a gun, I, I want that person to get a phenomenal deal. And I also want to make sure that I don't give it away. I want, I want to get a little bit back because I paid a good amount for this back in 2011. So what are we talking about? Well, I want you to also let me know what you would sell this for so it's fair for all people involved. This is a SIG P220. This model is discontinued. This is the carry model. And it was produced in 2010. Even says on the case there, July 28th, 2010. I picked it up in 11. And it is pretty sweet. Now, they still make the 220 models. This has been around since 75, by the way. The SIG P220 has been around a long time. This, this was actually produced before the P226. So it's been around. The eight round mags, single stack, are the same today. SIG charges 54 bucks for one of these mags on their site. I've got three of them here. But it, it's got a 3.9 inch barrel. So the ones they produce today are the Legion... The Elite, they have the black nitron slide with the 4.4 inch barrel. This has a 3.9 inch barrel, hence the name carry. It's got a three slot pick rail, anodized aluminum frame. The, the guts are essentially the same. It's just the barrel length and the, the accentuates with the Legion series or the Elite series. But it's a pre pretty phenomenal handgun. I have loved it. 45 ACP. I typically will grab a 1911 if I'm going to shoot 45. That's just what I do. I grab a 1911 and this is not a 1911, but it does have a sweet single action trigger pull. Check that out. Look at this reset. You hear about the SRT triggers I say, well, that's an SRT. That's Sort of like an SRT2. It's very much a short reset trigger. Anodized aluminum frame. Nice polymer grip. It has the stainless slide. Siglite night sights that are about, they probably have about a year and a half left of life. They, SIG does a nice job with their night sights. I don't think SIG produces them. I have to believe they're outsourced, but they're going on 13 years. Being old and that, that's about the lifespan of night sights. I took it in the closet. They were dim. You could see them. Sort of reminded me of a low-charged luminescent sights. All right. Uh, a hair better than three dot at this point. But it's a great handgun. It's performed well. I don't ever recall any problems with it. It's in very good condition. No real issues to speak of. Comes with three mags, a hard case. The original lock and everything. And I think I'm going to miss it, but I don't know. What would you ask for this? Now, the ones that they're selling today are 11 and 1200 bucks all day long. I want the person that eventually owns this to get a great deal, better than average, because I'm not looking to get rich on a, on a firearm sale. But I do have some, uh, some guns in mind of what I want to pick up next. It's not too heavy. And it's a, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal shooting gun. I love it. Let me just show you 
the internals because you don't see this too often. The look at this recoil spring guide rod. Look at that. You don't you don't see a big thick spring like that too often these days. And here's the 3.9 inch barrel. A little bit dirty. Last time I shot it. But that's that's actually pretty cool. And uh, it has full length frame rails. Okay, much like the the uh, other SIG T models. And of course it has this SIG decocker right there. It's in good shape. It has a couple minor finish scratches on there. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but I never recall a failure with this. So what would you ask for it? And even if you're not in the market to buy it, what would you be willing to pay for it? And give me an idea what you think. Because like I said, I want the person to get a great deal. I don't want to get ripped off, but also I want to get what it's worth somewhere in that so that's what is going on i'm going to say goodbye to this sig <laughs> i just need a minute <laughs> but that's what's going to happen and after i uh blow my nose and wipe my tears i'll be getting something else and most likely showing it off to you if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe